All right, he's Omega here. So, uh, so I got the rear suspension done, uh, and uh, now I'm gonna do the front suspension. I, I didn't have time that night to finish the front, and I figured I didn't want to make all this noise. The neighbors will complain. So, uh, so like here, I got the um, I've taped. I put tape where the wipers are. You see here. So that so when I said, uh, hey, I, this is what this tape was for. Uh, I used uh, some masking tape to mark where the wipers are in like two places, so I have a general idea of where where it should be when I put them back on. Because we got to take the wipers off to take this cowl off. So uh, so yeah. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I gotta get these wipers off. So I need to go pop this uh, this cover off here. Okay, I was able to pop it open here with a screwdriver. This comes right off, like that. And it has, gives you access to the nut. Ooh, this one's cracked right here. Oh, no biggie. Okay, so uh, so where the um, where the um, the strut towers are hidden on the front are under the cowl. So you can't find it in the engine bay, so the so the wipers have to come off first. It's so annoying. Why? And all my cars, well, almost all my cars, they're visible from uh, the engine bay. You know? It's just the way they design the car. Not mechanic friendly. So I'm going to take this off. And then, uh, so everything is marked, so hopefully I can get it back the way it, it was. off and to get the other one off <coughs> you need to uh, take those two nuts off over there and it comes right off so I guess I guess maybe the other one you don't really need to tape it because uh, you don't really need to tape it because it uh, it's, it's it's always gonna be a certain way because of the way they designed it oh come on get, get it so, this look like 12s or something. Okay, so we take these two off. They're 14s as well. Okay. And yeah, you know what? This is probably the first time I've removed the cowl on the car, you know? I've done so much work on a car, but I've never done it. So, so then this should just come right off. That's what it's saying. So I don't think you need to do this one, sort of, kind of, because because it's got those two things there. It's easy to put back. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And uh, okay. So the next thing to do is take the wiper, the um, the hood seal out. So you just push underneath here, and there's some pins holding it in. Sort of, kind of. Oh, well, these ones come out easily. It's kind of weird. Okay, so there's uh, two push pins on the side here. Just press the center, and then uh, it comes right out. Make sure you put that somewhere safe. Just do the same for the other side. The car's a little bit dirty. Oh, there it goes. Just went flying. <laughs> it says you have to like push forward and lift up on the cowl and it comes right off. There's some clips holding it in. Oh, I see. I see why. So now I know why you have to take this out. But it's so, like they're saying, it's in two. Um, on the VFAX, it says it's in two pieces. So maybe you really need to take off an, like half of it, you know? And then just leave the other half connected because there's some goop here that holds it on. I pretty much just lift it up on it and it came out. Just kind of finagle it out of there if your hood is up. 
Oh boy, it's dirty. This is a good time to clean uh, all that crap out of there. pull back on it and that comes right out okay oh, yeah just make sure just make sure nothing sticky touches that you can actually leave half of the the seal on there so it's less to worry about all right so if you can I'll go ahead and blow all that crap okay out the there. wiper motor has to come out next um, all right so First, I gotta unplug this power dealy here. This is a pain in the ass. Why, Toyota? Why? And then unplug this. All right, I got these uh, needle nose pliers, and all I did was all I did was squeeze it, and it came right out. Piece of cake. I'll take that out of the way, I suppose, and then uh, I'm try to clean up this a little bit. Else opportunity to you know all the junk in here look at it's all decomposed and everything all right so with that I think you should be able to take the wiper motor assembly out um, it's a uh, one two three four five uh, five um, bolts okay Bolted the wiper motor. I'm just gonna go take the bolts out and secure them. Oh, I hope they're all the same size. They look like they're all the same size. This one kind of just fell out on its own. I don't know why that one is all ovally. Maybe that's supposed to be like that. Go ahead and put this somewhere safe. And then I should be able to lift it out. There it is. Go ahead and get that a good clean while you got it out. All right, the next thing to do is unbolt this relay box because it's connected to this thing here. Um, hmm, I might be able to do it with the impact gun. Let's see. I know, I'm next super lazy, Next step right? is to take this, uh, the rest of the cowl off. So it's seven bolts. Go ahead and secure those bolts. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven bolts. That's all of them. Put them somewhere else. Should come out now. Hopefully, it won't make a big mess. Looks like a layer of scum holding it in. Right, let's put this somewhere for now. All right. There it is! The threat towers are now exposed. Uh, yeah, so... Let's see. I'd say that took about half an hour. It's not nearly... Okay, I'll tell you this. It's not nearly as bad as taking the interior apart, but it's going to take you some time. That took about half an hour. Uh, I could probably do it... Probably do it in 10 or 15 minutes if, since I know where like everything is now and what to do, so... It's not too bad. But look at that. That's kind of cool. Like, uh... Can see more of the engine. This is the most I've seen of this engine before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah. So uh, um, if so, if you're doing this this job, this uh, doing doing the front shocks, uh, this would be a excellent time to change your spark plugs if uh, if you so choose to do so. If it's around that time, because I think a hundred thousand miles is where you do the um, the spark plugs. That's at least that's when I did it and. Uh, and uh, so that's, I mean, you probably want to do your shocks around 100,000 miles too, so that would be good to do while you're doing it. All right, well, I gotta go find that bolt I lost. Well, that's cool, you can get to everything from here. It's the catalytic converter or exhaust manifold, one of those. Maybe it's got two cats, I don't know. All right, I gotta go find that bolt. Yeah, okay, so I never found the bolt, so uh, it's back there somewhere. Hopefully it'll it'll turn up. Um, I'm gonna change the oil soon. So, um, so what I want to do 
is uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to jack the car up now, put it on its jack stands, on the jack stands, and then uh, let's do it. So, so take a look at the <laughs> like take a look at the instructions. Um, uh, remove the wiper motor, linkage assembly, and the cowl brace. And then loosen. So <clears throat> that one step took like like half an hour. I'm not joking. And then the uh, oh geez, it's saying you have to mark the the stuff when you take it off too. How annoying! I loosened the wheel lug nuts, raised the vehicle, and support it. So. That one step looks like 30 minutes, and then in the, if you go to vfax.net, this is a highly suggest, you, I would give a shout out to uh, vfax.net, um, not only do they do uh, DSM stuff, they do Prius stuff, but uh, they tell you how to do all of this, and they go it through step by step, this is what I followed, and I'm at the part where we gotta take the struts out now, so, finally, we can do this, finally we can work on the suspension, right? Ugh, so annoying. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let me get it jacked up. Okay, I got almost jacked up. So my, I have a SUV jack. It's not the lowest jack in the world. Um, it was okay for the rear, but the front, it, I couldn't get it far enough in there. So what I did is I, I jacked it. Ideally, you want to jack it up uh, right where it is right now, like right under the motor mount. And uh, but I jacked it up right here first so I can get a jack stand under it over there and this is where you're just about the jack stands like right here this is where you would put the jack your car up with the with the, the factory jack so let's go ahead and uh, jack it up in there let's make sure it's back a little more Okay, it's up in there. So, uh, like with the rear, I used the three, three of the teeth on the jack stands to hold it up. Should be sufficient. I mean, really, you only need it as high enough to get the, the wheels off the car. But uh, I'm actually going to do oil change, too, while I'm at it. All right. All right, car's up in the air. It's time to take the lug nuts off. Let's go ahead and take them off. Ooh, it's on there pretty good. Nuts are off. Oh, they got a ton of anti seize on them. That's good. That's a good thing if you got anti seize on your stuff. Alright. Okay, there's one wheel. Another wheel. Let's put it in the grass here. 